Good morning. It's another day in the garage. This is day two on the dash swap. A couple of things since um, the last video ended. We um, kind of took all the dashboards apart. Uh, got all the wiring out. Looks like a nice spaghetti strap. Spaghetti. So then I found some issues with the AC duct. It was not fitting. Hence I had to take the frame out. And then I had to go through some persuasive uh, <laughs> engineering, some cutting, to be able to get this one to fit the blender box. Uh, apparently Ford decided to make some changes where on the newer cars they have um, one motor that does everything and it, and the, the, the foot uh, air ducts don't come through here, they come through the, the main uh, uh, heater box. So had to modify this and um, let's see if we can get it to work, to fit. So we got the AC work hooked up now. We had to, uh, as I showed earlier, do some cutting. Then we reinforced it all with some extra foam and then added some duct uh, tape just to kind of seal all the, the ducts properly. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep on trucking on the dash. Next thing we're gonna put the, the uh, wiring in and then we're gonna start getting ready to put it into the car. Alright, so we got the whole dash ready for installation. Uh, as you can see, all the wires are plugged in and ready to go. Uh, quick tip, if you're deciding to do this swap, you can leave all the wiring connected to the steering wheel and fish it all out through with the steering column through the dash and then fish it all the way back in. Um, the AC, as you can see, it's sealed and good to go. Over here, the duct. Um, the only thing I had to modify was here is Ford uses a different bolt pattern uh, for the amplifier for the subs. So I just had to use one there and then just drill a hole on the bottom and use a different screw. Um, and then the OBD port, as you can see, it's got, it just slides over on the older style versus the new one looks like Ford just like screws it in. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, now we're going to get the dash in.
Hey everyone, welcome back. So after a lot of um, wiring and cleaning up wiring and redoing plugs and yada yada yada, I finally got the whole dash installed. So here it is. Let me see. Let me go around. My garage is a absolute disaster. I gotta clean up all the leftover parts and plugs and all this other crap. But here's a preview of. Um, or here's a look at the, the, the dashboard. Once again, sorry for the garage mess. Um, all right, so. The only thing I have left to do is to rewire the exhaust cutouts since I want to use them with the set of the, the dash buttons, but here you go. Let's take a peek. <sighs> All right, so stereo, center console, this is just a little tighter than needs to uh, wear out a little bit, but as you can see, full cup holders. The um, airlift remote is embedded nicely in it. This will get redone with a nice Alcantara one to complete the look with the, the parking brake. This is where I'm going to wire the trunk release and the um, um, exhaust cutouts. So I need to look in at the pin out of that. But all the AC controls are here. The dash. I ended up having to use the old dash uh, glove compartment because the newer style have a indentation in the backside because the airbox is different and it wouldn't shut. So that that was different. Um, sorry for the mess. Once again, there's still a lot of crap that I need to clean up. But let's see. Um, Gauges are the mycelene ones that I've had before. They work just fine. Um, I ended up not using the Ranger switch and I ended up using the 2014 switch. I ended up finding the, um, the wiring diagram of the switch uh, and did the pin out and everything and turned out I, I could do all the wiring and use this one. I kind of didn't want to have the, the automatic light logo here to be more like an 06 but you know, just me being anal uh, I ended up using the um, dimmer from the old 06 dash instead of the the new dimmer because that's a different uh, set of wires um, I have to redo all of the stuff in here the wiring all right let's see headlights on as you can see Looks like it um, came with the car. So once again, that's the 06 or 0609 gauges or gauge cluster. Um, I had to just modify just a little bit so it would fit in here. All right, headlights go on. And then if I go into auto, headlights stay on. So auto is pretty much just like the headlights being on. And then fogs get pulled in here. All right, and then the best part, push the start button. Everything works like back in the 06 dash. Passenger airbag, the info button. gauge works everything else in here and the remote works stereo so there you have it full dash swap thank you for uh, watching the video and uh, subscribe I have some more other some more projects coming down the pipeline
See you later.